Welcome Scorpios, y'all. I'm back with another video. So, Happy New Year to those who are celebrating on today. And the ones that are celebrating in the spring, I'll holler at y'all in the spring. All right, so let's jump into it. Let's see what messages we get for Scorpio. This is for January. Message for Scorpio, please. Give me a message for Scorpio, please. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got the Knight of Cups that jumped. So we have the Knight of Cups that jumped, like I said. All right. So, all right. So, let's see what else. Give me another message. The High Priestess. Another jumper. All right. So, We have the fool at the bottom of the deck here and the empress and the ace of wands. Six of wands, surprise. And the tower, there's a like, you really surprised. This is Scorpio's energy as well too. All right, so it looks like some of y'all could be dealing like with the baby mother or a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend. It's like you're surprised about something. Maybe all the attention that this person is getting or or you're getting. Your intuition is telling you to to say something. Let's see. Two of Pentacles. And six of Swords. All right, so maybe the Ace of Wands could have been in regards to something like a meetup, a fling type of energy because I'm kind of seeing that. I'm seeing like like asking someone, asking, can they come over? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of back and forth. Maybe you're doing a lot of juggling. You're not sure if you should even put any effort in yet because you feel like it's a lot of back and forth. So you may be undecided. Could it be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn or a Cancer or Pisces? Yeah, it's like somebody's confidence level is on 10. Somebody's confidence level is on 10. So the person you're dealing with, they could be financially stable. Like they take really good care of themselves. Yeah, I'm seeing like waiting until you get paid to make some type of move to, or uh, come towards this. Make some type of move to come towards this person. But this person is on your mind a lot. Yeah, the Eight of Swords and the Moon. Like, you think about this person, but I feel like it's it's a lot of back and forth. Maybe this person lives at a distance from you. Why is the High Priestess? Um, yeah, like... There's a lot of back and forth involved. You're thinking about, like, can I afford it? You know. 
It's expensive. Yeah, I see like there's no like you aren't arguing with this person. You are this person isn't giving you any problems or anything like that. I feel like you just, I feel like you asked this person about, maybe this is someone that you want to, you're considering dating, but you like, you want to ask the right questions first before you get involved or things get too deep. You may decide to slow things down because you feel like, you feel like there could be like a problem that could come up so I, I see you like just watching this person from a distance kind of like just being their friend for a while i see you thinking about what you could say to this person like the like i see it's kind of see like testing the waters with this person I'm getting like a lot of calm down energy. Like you, you may have told this person like, "Yeah, I done calm down a lot," um, but in your mind, you're thinking like, you know, this is someone that you possibly go back and forth with. Maybe you're juggling. This could be a water sign like you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, I'm getting like you could be considering taking this person out on a date or this person could be could be considering taking you out on a date. I see communication opening open, but this person is kind of like standoffish, standoffish a little bit. This person could need to get a divorce or you could need to get a divorce. Or you got to split a long time ago. I see a Leo could be involved here, but I see you smiling a lot when it, when this person reaches out to you. Children could be involved. Like I said, this could be a baby mother, baby father thing. But I kind of see you like you got your eye on possibly you possibly got your eye on a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or Virgo. It's like, y'all be friends one minute, and then this person could pop up in a relationship, and it's like, you don't want to really give it a chance if, you know, until you find out all the details, till you find out the full truth of what's going on. Um, So, you're kind of like tiptoeing with this situation. I don't see you taking... You know, moving too fast with this person. This person is giving me energy of like, you know, like they'll speak, but they don't, they're not really that too into it as well. Like they're not really that into it. I don't know if it's because y'all are matching energies, but I do see like you juggling. Maybe you got other options or you're going back and forth. There's a lot of traveling possibly involved. Or this is just like, you know, a little hookup situation. Um, let's see what this person's intentions is towards you. is marrying your energy just like I just said they're marrying your energy um they're looking for truth as well too they're looking for clarity I feel like they do want to like go out on a date they want to see what things would be like outside of the norm like outside of the bedroom and things like that this person actually does like want to go out on a date so this person is kind of like they're just marrying your energy like they going along with what you what you got going along they may want you to chase them, okay? This person could be very self-indulgent. Like, they, they're they really, really focused on themselves. Yeah, but they need time. They're taking their time. 
Yeah, until they're taking their time until you talk about a date, until you bring up a date, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship, talking, and yeah, and engagement. That's just taking things to the next level. Um, this person could be wearing a mask. Sometimes they may be trying to seduce you, but this person is sneaky, okay? This person is sneaky. They may portray themselves to be like your soulmate, but it's really this really this person is self indulgent. This person is not going to open up until they find out the truth about you and y'all go out on a few dates, okay? And then get to talk and get to know each other a lot more because this person is giving me like they not they just marrying your energy. However far you take it, that's however far they, they're gonna take it. All right, so that's the message that I got for you, Scorps. If this message resonated with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. All right, until next time.